Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Michael Shu, and today we'll be doing another leather jacket unboxing by none other than Avi Leather. If you guys don't know Avi Leather, I've previously reviewed their G1 and their A2 jacket. They're a company based out in Denmark and they make some awesome leather flight jackets for a really reasonable price. And that's why I really like Avi Leather and that's why I recommend Avi Leather to all of you guys. If you guys are looking for a good quality leather jacket, for a reasonable price. That's a big thing with them. They do make awesome jackets for a reasonable price. But today, we're gonna see what's in this package. Before we dive into this unboxing, if you guys aren't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you guys went down and smash the subscribe button and don't forget to leave a thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate it. All right, without further ado, let's dive right in. First off, the packaging is nothing special. They just sent me this DHL package. One thing I do wish about Avi Leather is that they shipped it in a box, a nicer box, because this doesn't seem like there's any protection while shipping. So that's my first complaint about this unboxing. But let's see what's inside, all right? Ah. Ooh. All right, so upon opening it, you receive this nice bag that says Avi Leather to put your jacket in and it protects it while it's shipped. Like I said, I do wish it came in a box to make the presentation, the unboxing experience a little bit better, but I'm not gonna be complaining too much about this bag because the real deal is what's inside and let's see how the jacket is. I'll give you guys the first look as always. You guys ready? Drawstring, open it up. What's inside, guys? You see anything? Ooh, look at this. So this is the ANJ3 by Avi Leather. It's made with seal brown and it uses talon zippers. That's one thing that I really do like about Avi Leather is that they use high quality materials. I do love that they use talon zippers. If you guys don't know, talon zippers are really high quality zippers. And upon first touch, I gotta say, it is nice and soft. It's not too stiff at all. This is a good leather. I really hate having a leather jacket that's too stiff, and when I put it on, I can barely move my arms. It takes three to four weeks just to break in. But this jacket feels really nice and soft. Doesn't feel like there's gonna be too much break in period required. If you guys don't know much about the ANJ3, let me briefly tell you about it. This jacket is pretty much the G1 and the A2 combined together. The two of the best flight jackets, in my opinion, the G1 and the A2, which comes down to this, the ANJ3, which takes the best parts from both the G1 and the A2. The pockets here with the button snaps is really definitely reminds you of the G1. And the collar is definitely an A2 style. The G1 has a big furry collar, where this is the nice, pointed edge A2 collars. So like I said, it's combining the best parts of the G1 and the A2 together, all right? This is made out of goat skin. That just means it's not gonna be stiff and there's not gonna be a break in period required, all right? The tag says, Avi Leather Denmark, ANJ3. Dark seal in size 44. As you guys know about sizing, with leather jackets, sometimes it could be difficult. So I am 5'8", 185 pounds, and this is size 44. And I would say if you guys are between sizes, it's always better to size up, because I'd hate for you to get a jacket that's too small that you can barely move your arms. You want a jacket that looks good, but also feels comfortable. In my opinion, after reviewing so many leather jackets, it's always better to go up in size and have it a little bit loose so you can layer up if you need to, than to go down where it's nice and fitted, but you can barely move and it's very uncomfortable, all right? So this is ANJ3. Let's go ahead and put it on and see what it's like. Oh my gosh, I gotta say, the sizing is perfect. I definitely love this. Upon first wearing, I can definitely tell you, it is not as thick as the G1. It's also not as stiff as the G1. That's something I really like. And the leather feels really nice and soft. Like I said, sizing is a huge deal. So when you first put on a leather jacket, you want to make sure you can stretch and cross your arms. 
all right? If you can't even cross your arms, or you feel tension on your shoulders or back when you cross your arms, that's when you know it's gonna be too small. But this jacket fits perfectly. Size 44 fits me great. And another thing I've noticed on this jacket is there's the bi-swing pleated back, which is taken from the G1 jacket, which makes you have more mobility, able to move more freely, where the A2 jacket didn't have the bi-swing pleated back, so you're much more limited to the movements you had. All right, so you guys might be wondering, this jacket is awesome. It's the best of the G1 and the A2. How much does this leather jacket cost though, right? Pricing is a huge deal and as you guys know, leather jackets are very expensive. You can have flight jackets that cost anywhere from eight to nine hundred dollars to above a thousand to even fifteen hundred dollars. But the thing that I absolutely love about Avi Leather flight jackets is that it comes at a reasonable price. So people that come and ask me what brand of a flight jacket they should get, I always recommend Avi Leather because they do use high quality materials and they are at a reasonable price. And this A and J3 goat skin seal brown jacket is only 309 euros. And for a jacket that's under $500 and has good quality materials and comfortable, it's a good deal. So I can definitely highly recommend Avi Leather Jackets. But let's go out and see what it looks like on the body in my full attire. You guys ready? Let's go. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that on body look of the a j 3 by Avi Leather. Like I said, if you guys aren't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you guys went down and smashed the subscribe button. But I gotta say, I absolutely love this jacket. This is like the A2, but on steroids and a little bit more comfortable to wear with the bi-swing pleated bag. I absolutely love that they took the best parts of the G1 and the A2 and came together to make this awesome jacket. If you guys are looking for a great flight jacket, I highly recommend Avi Leather as they do have different styles and they're all at a very reasonable price point. So definitely go check out Avi Leather. But there's one thing I must critique and I hope they do improve on this is definitely their unboxing experience. I do wish they had better packaging. I wish they did come in a box instead of just a drawstring bag as that would make the unboxing experience better for all of us. But besides that, gotta check out Avi Leather if you do want an awesome flight jacket. That's gonna be it for this unboxing. Be sure to subscribe, and if you do wanna check out my reviews on the G1, click that over here, and the A2 review will be right here. Be sure to check it out, and don't forget to subscribe, because I'm cute, and I'll see you later. Bye.